Today, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the most essential free download tool you can get for the Oculus Rift headset, the Oculus Tray Tool. This little gem will simplify improving your VR experience and has some awesome features that I'll cover here. So stay locked, crush that like button, enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the sh** you can follow me on Twitter at facepalm with a one not an L as for here on YouTube if you like what you find then like comment and subscribe don't forget to bring your game face let's get it done the Oculus Tray Tool was created by a user called Apollyon VR, and if you head on over to the Oculus forums, you can see a list of features this app has and where to download the tool from. I'll put a link in the description below, and if you click on that, it will take you to that forum page, and all you have to do is click this little file dropper link here, then when the page loads up, just click this download this file button. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, go down to the tray and open it up and you'll get this window here. And if you click this more button down the bottom, you'll get a couple more options. In the top left panel, you'll see two tick boxes that let you start with windows and start minimized. If you tick the first one, this app will start as soon as you start windows, which I recommend you do if you're doing a lot of VR gaming. And the second one will mean that the app will start up in the taskbar instead of this whole window popping up when you start windows, which I also prefer. The next panel panel covers some power options where you can set the power plan to either high performance or balanced. I use high performance as this configures the Windows power management to always make sure my Rift is performing at its best. The USB selective suspend option can be either enabled or disabled and this may help with an issue a lot of Rift users are having, especially those using the Oculus recommended Inintech USB 3.0 expansion card and what it does is it prevents windows from suspending or temporarily shutting down the oculus sensors when they are not picking up movement. Disabling this means that the sensors are constantly on and always scanning for your location when you're in VR. Very handy and I leave this as disabled. If you are using the Oculus recommended Inintech USB 3 expansion card that I mentioned before, this card uses a set of Fresco drivers, which personally I think are complete shit, or at least very incompatible with the Rift at this stage, and enabling this option sets in place a few small registry tweaks that help make the Fresco driver function in a more Oculus Rift friendly manner, and I have this enabled at all times also. Next is this Disable Fresco Power Management on Start box, which again is related to that Inintech USB 3 expansion card, and I always leave this ticked, and this is the one that has helped with my tracking the most, as instead of having to go through all the USB controllers and uncheck the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power manually in Windows, which was my previous solution, and had to be done every single time I started Windows, leaving this box ticked does it all automatically, and since then, things have been grand. Now onto the real really exciting stuff. This panel here essentially boosts the quality of the image displayed in the Rift, which makes text and VR more readable, and it makes everything look sharper. And it does this by super sampling, which essentially increases the resolution of the image you are seeing in VR. And you may have seen this video I put up which shows you how to boost this using the Oculus Debug tool, which works great, but this Oculus Tray tool can do that from these simple dropdowns. All you have to do is select what level of super sampling you want. I would recommend 1.5 for a noticeable difference without taxing your graphics card to death, though you will have to try this out as not all graphics cards can handle these higher graphics settings. And you can also add profiles and then browse for an applications.exe file, let's say for instance big screen VR, and then set a super sampling level here and add it to the list. Now whenever you start big screen 
VR with this tray tool running, it will automatically increase the graphics quality to that 1.5 super sampling. Now that's an awesome feature if I ever saw one. As far as I know, the ASW doesn't work as it is circumvented by the Oculus software, so we can forget this one for now. But over on the right hand side, there is a list of statuses here, and if you hit start, then the Oculus service will start. And if we open up Task Manager and then scroll down a little to where the Oculus processes are, we can see that if we hit stop in the Oculus tray tool, then it kills the Oculus service running in the background. Handy if you don't want it running when you aren't using the Rift. Restart also restarts the Oculus service, as you would imagine. Then this list here lets you control when the Oculus service and Oculus Home starts and stops in relation to this tray tool and the Windows Startup. And they're pretty self-explanatory as the titles here literally say exactly what they do. And finally, this panel here gives you visibility of how your PC is performing and handling VR while you are in the Rift. This one will show you a readout of your pixel density, which is the super sampling we set over here. And this one shows your performance in Hertz, which looks like this. And the graph on the left shows the app frame rate, which should be running at 90 Hertz or if ASW is kicked in, which it will when your PC can't handle a 90 hertz frame rate, this will display 45 hertz. And the graph on the right is your performance headroom, which is the amount of available processing power your PC has free. If this number is running really low, then that tells you that you may need a PC upgrade, or it could be that you've just got the super sampling set too high and your PC can't handle it. And that's it. All of these options and information in one app for free, which makes this, in my opinion, the most essential VR app available to date. So if you like this video, then crush that like button, ask any questions in the comments below, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at BasePalm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to bring your game face. Face Palm out.